Hello, hey, what's up? Abdurrahman Hamdan here for Hamdan Films. Today we'll be making the famous Rasengan in Naruto. Take a look at it. Pretty cool, huh? Just wanna tell you the one we'll be making will be much cool. More. Okay, let's get started. We make a new comb. 20 seconds uh, make it costume and make the width a thousand pixels and the height a thousand pixels frame rate 29.976 frames per second resolution is full ok first we make a new solid black then we make an effect now go to our effects and presets we type in CC Rain CC Rain We make the amount um, Make the amount first Make it less than 300 Speed 1 The angle Make it 60 And make the angle uh, keep the angle variation variation ten. Drop size keep it two. And the opacity twenty. And sort of drop one hundred. Then duplicate it. Control D. And make the angle in the second one minus sixty. Now make it minus sixty five. Minus sixty five. Okay, top is minus 60. Okay, minus 55. No, minus 55. Sorry, this is our first tutorial. I'm not quite sure how to make it. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is use an effect called CC Sphere. CC Sphere. Make the radius, uh, not keep the radius as is, and make the light intensity 200. The light height 100. The color, make it light blue if you want to be specific type in B 0 E B F F I like to be prepared for tutorials make the radius um, now keep the radius as is and make the light direction uh, now keep the light direction ok that's it for the light settings ok now we go to the shading make the ambient make the ambient 70 and the diffuse make it 60 we'll leave the specular for later make the roughness Point three zero two. Make the metal fifty. See now it's a little bit better. Okay. Um, that's it for the CC sphere. Okay. You see what we accomplished in a small amount of time. Next thing we're gonna do. Add an effect called CC radial fast blur. CC radial fast blur. Right there. We put it above the sphere. Right above the sphere. 
we make the amount 10. And we add another effect called CC light rays. CC light rays. CC light rays. And we put this also above this CC sphere and above the radial fast blur. We make the intensity 1000. You can make it, you can make it one, uh, 1500. That's up to you. And you know what? Try to change in, try, try to change in the numbers as much as you want. And make the radius 60. And the warp softness. Give it 50. The shape is round. The color. Make it a little bit more, no, keep it as is. And okay, that's it for the CC light rays. Okay, now we add an effect called CC radial blur. CC radial blur. And we put it right under the CC sphere. Make the amount 10. No, make it 1. Okay. See what we accomplished in a small amount of time. Okay, now. We go up to the CC rain, both of them. We set, uh, we set a stopwatch. We set a keyframe at the beginning. Move about two seconds. Two. And make it. Uh, no, we go back to the beginning and make it zero for both of them no don't make it zero make it uh, ten then go to set go to any second and make it four hundred okay an effect I like to a thing I like to do is go and s select both keyframes and click F9. It makes it a bit smoother, which is better for most people. Okay. Now, as you see, we have a full resangan, which is cool for now. Okay. Now, second we think, second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on top of our footage. So we take our single comp, we rename it, make it the original Rasengan. Click OK. And we create a new composition. And in the composition, we toggle the words and switch it, we make it screen. So this way so this way, when you put it on top of of any footage, you can uh, you won't be able to see the black solid behind the singer because it's originally a black solid. Okay. After that, we're gonna is import our footage. I have my footage somewhere here. Yes, here it is. Scale it a little bit. If you're like me, you don't have a camera guy. Wait till when you raise your hand up and drag it to there. 